Hey guys, this is Homie G Dog four five six here, bringing you guys another video for my channel. This one is a little different. It's on computers, and this is how to overclock your GPU um, or your graphics card or your video card, whatever you want to call it. It's how to, how to overclock it. I'm using this for an NVIDIA card. Now, this program I'm using is only available to NVIDIA cards. ATI cards won't work. I may decide to do a ATI um, tutorial. Just leave in the comments if you'd like to see that, and I'll try my best to figure something out to do that. So, before you get too far in, you're going to need a program called EVGA Precision. Now, it says EVGA Advanced Graphics Tuning. So, that's what that's what that is right there. That's what this program is. I'll leave a link to the to the program's website so you can download it. All you have to do is sign up or um yeah, sign up basically and sign in and then you'll be able to download this. This is a uh, mandatory pretty much for overclocking. I know there's other programs. This is my personally my favorite. This is what I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna go down here to profile three. <clears throat> make different profiles depending on what you're doing alright so this one is basically just give me one second I will change everything back to its default settings from what I got from what I got it what it came like from the factory sorry guys I'm a little a little off today I've come down with a cold it must be the cold weather I'm assuming it is here in Canada there's at least two feet of snow on the ground at the moment. You're supposed to get you're supposed to get more in the next couple of days. Anyways, if you knew me, if you know me, I like getting off topic. As we get back on topic, as you go into the program, you're gonna see this on your right. You're gonna see a core clock with a little tuner nozzle thing here, a shader clock with the same thing, a memory clock with the same thing, and a fan speed with the same thing. Now on both ends it says minimum and max. Now it's always nicer to keep it for the minimum for these for the clocks and the fan speed it's always kinda nice to keep her on the on the max. But that's just my opinion guys. You can fiddle around with it yourself after I show you this tutorial. On the left you'll see your GPU temperature. This is really great to have. You need to be looking at this at all times. If you're going to be overclocking, you don't want your temperature to get too much over approximately 65 to 67 degrees. Depending on if you have an older card, probably around, the maximum I would say is 90 degrees. If you if it's over 90 degrees, you're no good. You need to just shut off your computer and give it a break. And then, talking about shutting off your computer and giving it a break, as we go down here, You'll see a little thing that says apply at Windows startup. This means that when you turn your computer on sorry, when you turn your computer on, this will this is these settings here that I have will be applied. Now you always want to leave this off in case something goes wrong and your settings are being too high, you move them too fast, or any of that type of stuff. And all you have to do is turn off your computer and restart it to fix that. And that's just simple learning. It's happened to me. But I had this turned on, so I actually had to take my graphics card out of my computer, um, plug my monitor into my onboard graphics, and then change it back and uninstall this program. It was not nice, guys. Just keep that off. You can change it for what you're doing. But as we move on to when you're going to need the um, settings up and what they can be useful for. So... I play quite a few games on my computer. The, probably the one on the top is Grand Theft Auto 4, just because it's a lot of fun with with uh, the keyboard and the mouse, and yeah, I just like it more like that than on controller. Anyways, they're been going off chop it again. For for that game in particular, I like to turn the settings up to usually I have on profile eight, so as you can see. It's quite a bit higher than it just was. Everything's quite a bit higher. But you don't want to switch from profile 3 to 8. Or whatever profile you have. But you don't want to switch to like that really fast. 
So what you're going to want to do, let's say you have my graphics card, and all these settings are like this. Now, I don't know why this keeps going back, 7, 475. I don't know why this keeps going back. Just give me a second, guys. Should be, should, there we go. Now, all these settings are default from the factory. This is what the graphics card came with. So let's say I'm going to be wanting, I'm going to want to watch some videos online or play a game. And I'm going to want it around this level. So to start off with, you're going to want to move it on increments of 10 to 15. So, and it's always nice to have these linked because they'll move up, these two will link and they'll move up safely instead of them being all off from each other. So it's always nice to click this button so it's flashing like that, or so the orange lights are on, so they're linked together. Now I'm just going to move this, type it in, 485, and that one will switch. And since that's there, I want to move my fan speed up to, let's say, 50. Fan speed, you don't have to move it up by 10, you can move it up anywhere from anywhere, like you move it up to a hundred here. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but I'm gonna apply that and my fan speed will you'll be able to hear a lot better. And you can also see your fan speed going up on there. And you'll see your temperature going down slowly. Fan speeds up, temperature will slowly go down. So we're just gonna turn that back down to fifty, approximately fifty. There we go. Apply that. Now this 482, so I'm going to move it up to 492. I usually do it in tens, just to be safe. So all of them are like that now, and your computer's faster. A lot faster, actually, than it actually was before. And that's what you're slowly going to want to do. So I've made a bunch of profiles, with three being my startup. I click three. I go back up. It's all the default settings again. And then I will click 2 and apply that because it's only 10, 10 increments or 10 spaces higher. And then I'll click 3, or I'll click 1, sorry, because I have it all messed up. I'll click apply. And that's all up 10 more. Most of them were up 10 more. I messed around with my fan speed to get the best performance. So they're all up pretty high now, higher than they definitely, definitely higher than they were. And now you want it. Basically, you want to have all ten profile, or yeah, ten tone ten profiles filled, so you can just one being your lowest and ten being your highest. So you just click on one, and then you click two, click apply, click three, click apply, click four, and then click apply, which is right here. You don't want to click one and then go all the way to ten and click apply. Your computer screen will freeze, and it will not be good, guys. Damage to your computer can be caused by this. Happened to me didn't damage my computer but it did I did have to I already told you what I had to do so don't do that guys take it very slowly so now is that 500 I'm gonna move over to 4 because that's my next one I'm gonna click apply click 5 click apply click 6 click apply you can see it's a lot higher than it was click 7 click apply click 8 click apply if you can hear my fan it's slowly getting faster and faster and louder and louder and so far that's the, f that's the farthest I made and playing Grand Theft Auto 4 I've noticed a big difference in speed um, as I log into the game or start the game up it actually sets the graphics settings higher not not the um, the visual settings uh, how do I explain this how about how would I say the visual or the distance setting the um detail distance or visual distance let's say it was at 10 before I did this and um you can turn it off all the way to 22 and it'll have the same speed because you did this overclock but you can't change your your um detail graphics your graphics detail sorry so let's say it's set up medium right now you can't change it to high because it I'm not overclocking my graphics, just my speed. Now, this is really useful for pretty much any computer activity. Everything moves so much faster if you do, do this. But guys, don't leave it like this all the time. Slowly take a break. 
or not slowly, just take a break, give it a break, turn it back to three, click apply, and give it that break it needs to cool down, and for the fan to cool down too. Now, you don't have to do the slow steps like I did off the start for getting it up there. You can just go from your top back down to your lowest without doing every single step or every single profile there. That doesn't hurt it. Is it the only thing that hurts it is going from one to ten, without, with the skipping all the numbers in the middle. That's pretty bad for it, guys. Anyways, guys, I think I'm done here. I don't think there's anything left I want to say. I'll show you a quick overview of what it looks like. You can reset all. It'll bring them back, bring back everything to your normal settings. You click auto for this, and it'll set your fan speed to auto. But you kind of do want to control it yourself. Sync basically means if you have more than one uh, video card, you can click this button and both, all of them will act the exact same so you don't have to go into each individual one and change it. Now I'm hitting the 11 minute mark here. A little past 11 minutes so I'm hopefully you guys are still with me. Leave that off. Information basically you hit this it just shows your product information your display device, all that stuff. As you can see, my onboard memory is pretty low. It's a pretty crappy card. That's okay, guys. I'll be getting a new one. This is your settings. Um, you can do a bunch of different stuff with this. But anyways, guys, I'm going to exit our magnifier here and let you guys go because that's pretty much my tutorial. I thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments. Give me a thumbs up. Or thumbs down, whatever th you whatever you thought of the video, that'd be great. It does help me out if I get a thumbs up. Just remember that. Thank you for, if you are subscribed to me. Thank you, and if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And I thank you for more.